In this ukulele tutorial, we're going to go over the five most common mistakes that ukulele players make. Hi, I'm Terry, and here at Ukulele the Pros, I'm dedicated to helping you become a better ukulele player. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons and the tutorials. After teaching for years and just hundreds, probably thousands of students, I see the same mistakes over and over again, and I wanted to go over those, so I broke them down into five simple steps. First one, stiff wrist. And when I say that, what I'm referring to is the wrist of the strumming hand. And what happens is a lot of times I see students doing this. When it should be this. And what that is, is we gotta really loosen up the wrist here. If it's stiff, meaning kind of locked, you end up strumming more from the elbow. And it creates a harsh sound. And I'm really not over exaggerating that. That's what I hear a lot of students sound like. So instead, what you gotta do is you gotta loosen up. And a lot of it comes from almost like a rotating motion here of the wrist. And by the way, I'm just playing a A chord for this. And so when you loosen up and lighten up a little bit, you get that nice sound. It's smooth, it's soft. And especially when you start going faster, you're gonna be able to do it. All right, number two, lazy fingers. And when I say lazy fingers, I'm talking about the fingers that go to where we play our chords. And what I refer to as lazy fingers is when you get this. And notice what's happening here is, instead of playing on the fingertips like you should, we're playing on the finger pads. And so what happens is, you don't get very clear chords because your fingers are drooping over and hitting other strings. So now, in order to play on our fingertips, the easiest thing to do is just think about is rounding these knuckles. So every knuckle is bent, and that's gonna force you to play right on the fingertip. And now, when you play this, each finger doesn't droop down and hit the other strings, right? And so when we get lazy, like I mentioned, no, if we can't even play good sounding chords because these fingers are hitting different strings. But now when we curve our fingers, play on our fingertips, we got nice, clean chords. The third most common problem most ukulele players make is their sitting position. This is really bad because people sit in all kinds of different chairs, they practice sitting on their couch, and so I wanna help you out with that. Basically what I like to do is I like to use a strap and the reason why I like to use a strap is because, one, it carries the weight of the ukulele. So now you don't have to use your hand to hold up the ukulele. Now I know straps aren't always common with ukulele players. Sometimes they like to use their, their arm to hold it up, and that's okay. But you still wanna pay attention to the technique, because even the greats that use their arm, they still have the ukulele in a nice, plain position. Generally what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the neck at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna help with your wrist because it's gonna put it at a nice straight angle, right? So if we notice when I'm playing, my wrist is straight here. When I have a bad position, like how about this one? Sitting on the couch watching TV, right? We're all guilty of that. Or what happens if I just drop the neck down like that, right? It's gonna put my wrist now, notice my wrist now is in a real bad angle here and that's gonna cause some injuries. So again, I like to use a strap. Try to get it in a nice 45 degree angle. Take the pressure off your hand. So now, no matter if you're strumming or you're playing single notes, everything's in a nice position. The fourth mistake is you don't learn the essentials. Now, what are the essentials? The essentials are things like understanding how to count. Time signatures, four, four, three, four, six, eight. Can you at least play in those? How about even understanding what a quarter note is, an eighth note, a half note, a whole note, a 16th note, or what rest are, right? These are things that a lot of us overlook because we're so into just learning a few chords and learning some songs. But by skipping this, we're really missing out on becoming a much better musician. So you wanna get things down like study your key signatures, study some music theory, Study your scales and even why they are scales and study your chords. Why, what makes up a C major chord? Study this stuff. It will help you become a much better player once you understand the instrument. And thus, during that time, you're also gonna be learning the neck of the ukulele. So learn all your essentials. 
The fifth most common mistake most ukulele players make is daily practice. We get real excited when we first get our instrument, we play it all the time, and then what happens? We get busy, maybe we put it down a day, maybe as two days or three days. The way you're gonna improve on ukulele is by that daily practice, by picking it up every single day. Now I'm not gonna say if you just play five minutes a day, you're gonna become a great ukulele player, but I'll tell you this, I'd rather you play five minutes a day rather than one day a week for 30 minutes because music and instrument is, you're gonna see a very slow growth as you improve. And so it only comes by that daily practice, that daily discipline of picking it up and playing, strumming your chords or playing your scales, you know, or playing your favorite song. That's where you're really gonna see a lot of progress. So don't even let one day go by. Plus, these things are so small that they're easy to travel with, so even if you're going somewhere, you can just throw this in your gig bag and take your ukulele with you. So those are the five most common mistakes that most ukulele players make. Let's review them. Stiff wrist, lazy fingers, bad posture, not knowing the essentials, and not daily practice. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons and tutorials, and we'll see you next time.